All right, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Q back here again. I got a pretty big announcement to make. Yeah! So if you guys did not follow me on Instagram, you really should do that because the announcement was already posted there. But basically, September is a big month for me. I'm going to be uploading every single day this month. So that's 30 videos. It's going to be a ton of new kits for you guys. It's going to be a ton of new vocal presets and a bunch of stuff like that. And right off the bat, I want to tell you guys to go down below, hit that like button and leave a comment right now and let me know what you guys actually want to see from me. I'm going to be doing a bunch of vocal mixing videos, a bunch of beat making videos and just a bunch of other stuff in between. So like I said, I'm probably repeating myself here, but the month of September, I will be uploading every single day. That is 30 videos in 30 days. And also, if you are not subscribed, you're going to want to do that as well. Turn the post notifications on just so you guys know exactly when I upload. I'm going to try and keep the schedule to uploading right around noon every single day. That's Chicago time. But anyways, that's about it for the announcement. So let's actually jump into this video. I've been wanting to film this video for a minute now just because a lot of you guys that are actually buying the templates for me are having a little bit of trouble like figuring out exactly how to use it. And I haven't done a full like blown tutorial on how you should be using FL Studio to actually record and comp your vocals. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I I made this new preset it's not even really a preset it's uh it's an flp that you're going to open and it's going to have everything set up to you exactly how i usually count my vocals and this is actually the first step of the video you're going to want to download this open it up and then we're going to go run through everything and the preset will be available at quintababa.com i'll have the link down in the description below i'm offering this for 20 bucks right now which is a steal because you could literally comp like any style of vocals with this this is kind of like my default preset that i go in and tweak everything to get it to sound like how i'd want to but anyways enough talking let's jump in the video and i'll show you guys how this actually works like i said before step one is going to be download this preset and the way you're going to uh, do this is let's close this out all right so you can see my desktop now and when you download the actual template this is what you're going to get it's an flp so uh if you're on windows you might have a hard time opening it but just make sure you open it in fl studio and all you should be able, all you should do is actually just double click it and it'll open straight up in fl studio everything in here is stock and i'm going to show you guys exactly how we would set this up so this is what it looks like so first thing you would actually do is go grab a beat so you can see this first track right here is called beat and i have it routed so as soon as you put a so as soon as you drop a file here it'll drop it straight into this preset right here uh track 19 on the mixer so let's do that so let's go into my finder and we'll just grab a beat we'll just grab this one right here boom we'll drag it in and first thing you would want to do is set the bpm of the beat which is 161 so we're going to do that boom just like that like i said everything is stock so you should be able to open this no problems at all and the next thing you're going to want to do is go into your mixer and you have this main vocal right here so you'll go into this section under the mixer and you're going to select your mic input mine is input one as you can see this is a pretty dry vocal but we'll turn it on real quick. And this is what it sounds like. So like I said, super dry. There's no reverb on it at all. But here's the cool part. So I'm going to mute this. And basically what you could do is I have all these buses routed over here. So you have your reverb bus, your delay bus. And I put a little extra effect bus right here so you could add any effect you want. But for example, if you're on your main vocal, we'll activate this. And you want a little bit of reverb, just bring this knob up. Boom. Now you got some reverb. Maybe we'll keep this like right here. Let's mute this. Now we have no reverb. Say you want a little bit of delay. Pull this knob up. You could edit this delay however you want. So bring that back down. And same with the effects bus. Let me correct myself. I realized I just made a mistake on the first thing. So I was saying you could adjust the reverb delay and everything on the buses by adjusting this knob right here. So you're actually going to want to leave all these the same. And the way you actually adjust them is you go to this track and you're going to adjust it with this knob right here. So if you want 100% of the effect, you'll have this knob all the way up. And if you want 0% of the effect, you'll bring that knob all the way down. And then I also have this double track right here, which is basically the same thing as the main vocal, but you'd probably want a little bit of a little bit more reverb on here. You'd probably turn this track down a bit and it's just stereoized. So it sounds like this when you talk. As you can tell, it's kind of like panned to each side of your headset. Then, of course, we have an ad lib track, and this is just the track that you would want to bring this reverb all the way up. So for each one of these tracks, it's routed over to these buses. And for example, you want your main vocal with a lot less reverb than your ad lib track. So, for example, you can see on this main vocal, I have the reverb set right here. And that's probably in reality where I'd have it. But I'd go over to my ad lib track, and we turn this ad lib track down a bit so it sits in the background. And then we're going to bring this reverb way up. But like I said, you could customize this. To however you want it so that's basically it for the routing and how everything is routed 
Now let me try and explain how the actual tracks are routed in the playlist. So, for example, say you wanted to record on your main vocal. You'd go right here and click this button. Boom, you arm it for recording. So now anything you record will go exactly into this main vocal, and it's going to automatically be routed to mix track one. So I'll show you guys what happens. And also before recording, you always want to make sure this is set to pre. This is just going to make sure that it doesn't print the actual effects on the mixer to the wave format that we record. So let me show you what it would look like if we record. Let's just turn this reverb up. And then all you got to do is click spacebar. And everything we say is now recorded. And if you actually double click this, you can see it's routed right here. And if you play that back, and everything we say is now recorded. So let's turn this off. You're going to want to make sure this beat is activated. But the one thing you're going to notice is there's no auto-tune on these. And that's why I left this first slot on every track open. Because for the most part, I feel like everyone kind of has their own auto-tunes. I personally like to use Wavestune. I know a lot of people actually like to use auto-tune. And of course, if you don't have the money to actually go and purchase one of those, you could always just go to more plugins and type in picture. And this is actually FL Studio's version. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is what you would do to find the key of your song. So you could either know by the producer actually putting the key in the song, or you could get this. Uh, so I'm not really sure how much this software costs, but it's called Mixed In Key. And if you drag a beat into here, it will tell you. Also, if you have the actual paid for auto-tune plugin, it actually has something called Auto Key, and that'll detect the key for you as well. So this says it is D sharp minor. So once you find your key, you go to your main track and we're going to open up picture and we're going to set this retune speed to fast. We're going to, it's already set to a minor scale, but you can change it to major if you needed to, but we're going to go to D sharp minor. So now if we activate this, yeah, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Babe. So yeah, something like that. And we'll just turn the record off. Yeah, I don't want to talk. And as you can see there, we recorded, and I was just adjusting the reverb and the delay, maybe bring it up a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And of course, if you wanted to bring this down, you could bring it here. I've made these grouped with the, I made these grouped with the main vocal. And for example, say you record a track and you want to bring it over to like the double track, just drag it right down there. First thing we're going to want to do is make sure we bring this picture over so we have the auto tune. So you could go like this, say preset as, and just drag it right over there. And then if we activate this, you can see that this vocal is now on the doubler track and it's much more wide. So as you can tell, now the track's at the doubler track and it's widened a little more delay and everything like that too. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you thought this template was cool. And if you use it, send me some stuff that you guys actually make with it. That'd be cool. But yeah, I think this template will definitely help a lot of you. Uh, hopefully this tutorial made sense. If it didn't, you could always just shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll answer it all the time. But yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notifications on. I'm uploading every day of September, so stay tuned for that. Also, follow me on Instagram. And if you don't know where to grab any of my kits, it's quintinbaba.com. The link's always in the description below. That's all I got for now. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Deuces.